think this, that's the harness anyway. It's gonna take <laughs> pictures of everything that's in front of us every three seconds. It's just like snapping, snapping, I'm not doing anything. So that's kind of cool. My name is Emer O'Neill and today myself and my son Kai are becoming citizen scientists. We're gonna go around and we're going to see how accessible our local area is. And then this can be used to generate information to help people so that the route that you're taking, you know you can get there without as much difficulty. Whether you're using a buggy, you're in a wheelchair, whatever it may be. My name is Party Domer. Not having access is pretty difficult. On the other side of the road is a flush curb. I would be able to access that, but I can't get down because of this red curb. If you're going to places, it takes a lot more planning than it would for an able-bodied person. I'm Avine Bird from Crowd for Access. Crowd for Access is a partnership between citizens and data scientists coming together to map the accessibility of footpaths in our cities and towns. What is happening to the footpath? It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. We're gathering data to learn about all of the problems that pedestrians encounter when navigating urban areas. What are, what are the issues here? So if a buggy is trying to get past, yeah. they have to go into the road. No, no, we're not happy with that one. We want to empower people to seek change. Anyone can go mapping and you can wear a harness so your hands are kept free, or you can just hold your phone out in front of you like this. I want to make sure that we get a good shot of this. The app automatically blurs any personal information that you might capture, such as faces or car registrations. The mapping is pretty easy. I'm doing it in the Raferna Meridia, so I know where I'm going. But I'm doing it for other people, so I'm hoping they'll map in their area. This is our local area, but we're actually spotting things that I wouldn't have recognised before. We've got no bumps, we've got no colour change, and this is an entrance to an estate. Just imagine if somebody is visually impaired and they're expecting to find the bumps. That's not good, is it? We also need citizen scientists to take the data from the photographs and put them into online maps. And you can use the photos that you've taken or that others have taken. The more the information you have on the map, the more places people can access. It's going to make life a lot easier for wheelchair users, so I thank you in advance. I'm really excited to be part of this project, to be a citizen scientist, because I think it is so important that everywhere is accessible for everyone. Good job. We're making change, bro. To become a citizen scientist and get mapping, visit our website, and you can take part in one of our workshops or just get mapping yourself.